I'll be damned, unraveling the phrase. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English expression, I'll be damned. It's a phrase you might have heard in movies, books, or everyday conversations. But what does it really mean? Let's explore together and add another interesting expression to your English repertoire. The phrase, I'll be damned, has an intriguing origin. It dates back to a time when references to damnation were more common in everyday language. Today, it's used as an expression of surprise or disbelief. When someone says, I'll be damned, they are not literally talking about damnation. Instead, it's a way of saying, I am extremely surprised. Understanding the context is key to using this phrase correctly. I'll be damned is often used in informal settings. For instance, if a friend tells you an unexpected piece of news, you might respond with, I'll be damned, to express your surprise. However, be mindful of the setting and the company you're in, as some might find it a bit strong or informal. Let's see how this phrase works in actual sentences. 1. After finding a rare coin in the garden, I'll be damned, I didn't know these were still around. 2. Upon hearing unexpected news, I'll be damned, she really moved to another country. 3. When something unbelievable happens, I'll be damned, the team actually won the championship. English is rich with expressions of surprise. Some similar phrases include, I can't believe it, wow, and that's incredible. Each of these can be used in situations where I'll be damned might be too informal or strong. And that's a wrap on I'll be damned. We hope this video sheds light on how and when to use this expression. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about culture, context, and history. Keep exploring, and don't forget to practice. Until next time, happy learning!